In this how-to video, I'm going to show, show you how to configure storage in Backup Exec 2012. So we're in the home page, and it says that no storage has been configured. So we'll go ahead and click Configure Storage. And we're going to do disk-based storage. So we'll highlight that, click Next. We're going to choose disk storage again. Next. We'll go ahead and choose the default for the name. And right now it's choosing a local disk, so I can choose any one of the three disks I have. It went ahead and picked the F drive, which is fine. Go click Next, and then Finish. So now if we go into Storage, we see our disk-based storage. And we can click on Details. It gives us information such as the maximum file size, 50 gigabytes, load disk space warnings, and overwrites, auto detect block and buffer size, you can click that enabled, pre-allocate disk space incrementally up to the maximum size is disabled. And from here we can change the maximum file size as big or as small as we want. We'll go ahead and change it to 25. On larger disks you're going to be able to choose higher amounts. This is how much the size of the file before it starts the second file in the backup. And we can limit backup exec to read-only operations, yes or no. And it shows the total capacity of the drives and the available as opposed to total. We can have it auto-detect settings, either enabled or disabled, for the server information. Connection type is definitely local, that is local to our server. And then by default, it's going to put the backups in this data path here, although we can change that if we want. You can also set multiple write sessions at once if you want to have more than one backup job running at the same time.